In this lesson, you will learn the divisibility rule for six. A number is divisible by six if it's divisible by both two and three. So we have to use both rules. The rule for two is a number is divisible by two if it is even, if it ends with zero, two, four, six, or eight. And the rule for three, a number is divisible by three if the sum of the digits is divisible by three. So let's take the example of 426. So is 426 divisible by six? Well, let's try the rule for two first. It is even, so yes, it's divisible by two. So we can check that off. But it also has to be divisible by three. So the rule for three is I add the digits four plus two plus six. And if I add that together, I get 12. 12 divides by three evenly, so 426 divides by three evenly. So it's divisible by two and it's divisible by three, so it is therefore divisible by six, okay? Try another example. Let's try the number 26. Okay, so 26, we're gonna see if it's divisible by six, meaning it's divisible by both two and three. So first of all, is it even? Yes, it's even, so it is divisible by two. Let's check if it's divisible by three. If I add the digits, two plus six is eight. Does eight divide by three? No, it does not. So this number is not divisible by three. So therefore, since it's not divisible by three, it is not divisible by six either. Let's do another example. How about 213? 213, is it even? Nope. So right away, if it is not divisible by two, if it's not an even number, it is not divisible by six. So it is not divisible by six. One more example, how about 42? Is 42 an even number? Yes, it ends in two. So it is an even number, it is divisible by two. We have to see if it's divisible by three. So let's add up the digits. Four plus two gives you six. So does six divide by three evenly? It sure does. So this number is divisible by three, and it's also divisible by two, which means, yes, it is divisible by six. So to find out if a number is divisible by six, you have to find out if it's divisible by both two and three, and if it is, then it is divisible by six. And that ends the lesson of the divisibility rule for six.